How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my reaction to Season 2, Episode 3 of Star Trek The Changeling. Um, last week's episode was an interesting episode, I thought there was some good aspects to it, but I think there was some aspects that could have been done better. Um, so, hoping this one is maybe a little more consistent. But look, as I said, like the back half of Season 1 was like so good and so consistent that... There's 20 something episodes, not everyone is going to be perfect, you know, so um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but as always, guys, if you're new to the, to the channel, there'll be a full uncut reaction to this episode as well. That'll be my Patreon page, and link will be in the description if you want to check that out. Um, if you'd like to support the channel further, there's different tiers with different perks. Uh, a quick shout out to my patrons uh, to Ravi, to JM63, to Mary, to Blaze, and to Mihal. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, but with that, guys, we will watch Season 2, Episode 3 The Changeling. Any response from Malurians, Lieutenant? Nothing since their original distress call, sir. There's nothing, sir. I'm scanning all frequencies. They have to answer. Unless something happened, though. Reveals no sign of life. Well, that can't be. The last census reported a total inhabitation of more than four sir, billion people. people. Any other possibilities? Unknown, sir. Sensor readings would have revealed the presence of any disease organisms. They do. Isn't that dog? Unless someone came and abducted them or something. Doesn't look friendly. It's like a vortex or something. Hold on to something, Spock. Still holding, sir. Uh, temporarily, Captain. Our shields absorbed energy equivalent to 90 of our photon torpedoes. Reduced our shielding power to 20%. First attack, sir? I think we can expect others, Lieutenant. We can resist three more such attacks. The fourth will shatter our shields completely. And patch in my log, tell them That's obviously what destroyed. The so... Malurian race seems to have been destroyed yeah. by an unknown agency. Speed of those bolts. Approximately warp 15, Captain. I can't outrun them. Good. Holding steady. Ready, boat on torpedo number two, Mr. Sewell. Ready, sir. Torpedo away. No effect. Target absorbed full energy of our torpedo. Absorbed? This feels like the end of the episode and the beginning of it. To unidentified vessel, this is Captain James Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Length? Fraction over one meter. 500 kilos and only one meter long? What? It's another signal now, sir. It's a formula, Captain. They're sending us a mathematical message. From math? Tie in the ship's translator to the communication channel. Let them... I'd be screwed because math was never my subject in school. It is impossible to come aboard your ship because of the size differential. We are prepared to beam you aboard our ship. That will be satisfactory. Okay. Do you board? Doesn't seem alarmed anyway. Really gonna bring that thing in here. Do we have any choice, Scotty? Besides, once it's aboard, gain we won't be any more shots at us. Yeah. What the hell? It's like a robot. Sensor readings, Mr. Spock? Negative, Captain. It has a protective screen. I cannot get through. Insufficient response. <laughs> All things have a point of origin. I will scan your star charts. We'll provide the necessary life support systems. Non sequitur. Your facts are uncoordinated. What is opinion? Opinion is a belief, a view, a judgment. Insufficient response. <laughs> What's your... I am Nomad. Isn't there a probe called Nomad launched in the early 2000s? It was reported destroyed. There were no more in the series. Hmm, that would be interesting if it was linked back to that. The planet is called Earth. Yes. You are the creator, <laughs> the Kirk. The sterilization procedure against your ship was unnecessary. The Kirk, tell me what your function is. This is one of your units, Creator? Yes, he is. It functions irrationally. Sometimes. <laughs> but tell him you... 
My function is to probe for biological infestations, to destroy that which is not perfect. So the Enterprise wasn't perfect? The amount of times you attacked it, there must have been a lot wrong with it. There was never any probe sent out for that. I believe the history computer can answer that question. I'll have the readout in a moment. Why do you call me the creator? Is the usage incorrect? Well, I, the usage is correct. No, man. The creator was simply testing your memory banks. Why did he? He must have read something. You're out of something, Spock. What is it? I have correlated all the available information on the Nomad probe, and I am convinced that this object is indeed that probe. This Earth science didn't begin to build anything with those capabilities that long ago. True. No, ma I Maybe some... that it was badly damaged and somehow managed to repair itself. Or it came upon someone else or some other being or added stuff to it to make it more advanced. Mr. Scott's engineers are working on them now. Report to him when your indicators are registering properly. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you can't get hurt or nomad. Perhaps the most brilliant, though erratic scientist of his time. Jackson, Roy Kirk, Captain James Kirk. Believe that nomad thinks, thinks that, that you, you are. are uh, but if what you say is true, then we've taken aboard our vessel. I must destroy it. So he's been taken by her almost. What form of communication? I don't know what it. Singing. I was singing. For what purpose is singing? Pleasure, really. I felt like music. Oh. Think about music. Keep away from my study! Stench. Holy shit. Does Scotty die in the series? Why did you kill him? Touched my screens. That unit was my chief engineer. Creator effect repairs on the unit, Scott. He's dead. Insufficient response. Does the creator wish me to repair the unit? Can you do that? Scott is too impulsive, though, isn't he? No reaction. That's his biggest weakness. Oh. oh. Heartbeat. What? That thing did something to Lieutenant. Scotty, she's and being taken it's, care of. It's, it's all right. Just take it easy and lie down, Scotty. Your information to me was correct. I'd like to check it out if you don't mind. Bones, shut up. McCoy will explain it to you. Repair that unit. Not possible. Why? The knowledge banks of this unit have been wiped clean. If that is correct, if there has been no brain damage. If that is correct, if there has been no brain damage, but only knowledge erased, she could be re-educated. Just amnesia, basically, if you like. And in spite of the way you repaired Scotty, you metal ticking... Does the creator wish Nomad to wait elsewhere? I interrupted you because Nomad would not have understood your anger. It has great technical skill, but motion is unpredictable. It almost qualifies as a life form. This is an interesting episode, just seeing how this thing approaches things so differently. Mr. Spock is also one of your biological units, Creator? Yes. This unit is different. <laughs> it is well ordered. <laughs> Look at him looking like proud. Follow looking. your instructions. See the dog... Bark. I sound it out. Run! That's it, Uhura. That's yeah. very good. But does she forget who she is herself, though? Like that she was the crew member, you know, growing up, family, friends? Put into direct mental contact with that thing? It seems the only way. You saw what it did to Uhura. There is a risk. That Spock will touch you. It is not an attack. It is a form of communication. You will permit it. Deep emptiness. It approaches am the other i am oh on through power gun ta 
new Ikka creator instructs search out identify he are nomad sterilize sterilize nomad sterilize well they did say it was a big risk Spock said that himself death what does it mean we are nomad it was uh, it was damaged in deep space and undoubtedly the meteor collision it's Memory banks were destroyed without purpose, and then it met the other. The other was an alien probe of great power. Somehow they merged. This is what I was thinking that it, it got it altered in some way. Not the nomad we launched from Earth. Yeah. It changeling. I beg your pardon. An ancient Earth legend, Mr. Spock. A fairy child that was left in place for a human baby. The changeling assumed the identity. It thinks I'm its mother. And that is the only thing that has saved us until now. Uh, thank God your name was Kirk. Holy shit. Oh! Fucking hell. Just vaporized them. Did they have it on the top setting? Impossible! It can't go that fast! Is there a problem, Creator? I have increased engine efficiency 57%. Turn off your repair operation. Acknowledged. It is ripped. Okay. It was easy. I'm a biological unit. I created you. Biological units are inherently inferior. It's like the Terminator. This is an inconsistency. Or the Borg. You're gonna have to destroy it, but how do you do it? Maybe you can turn it off or something? Captain, it may have been unwise to admit to Nomad that you're a biological unit. And no when it gets there, it will find the Earth infested with imperfect biological units. And it will carry out its prime directive. Sterilize. Like, they haven't even scratched the surface, it seems, Nomad, in a way that they could dest destroy it. Nomad. Surely wouldn't they have been given word of what had happened to the other two uh, officers. Captain Kirk to sickbay. Emergency. What happened? Nomad examined the personnel files and the medical history. She tried to stop him. Since it specifically examined your history. He knows, no, you're not the creator. Yeah. Life support systems are out all over the ship. Manual override has been blocked. Source, engineering. Stop what you're doing. And affect repairs on the life support systems. Tell you wasn't talking to him anymore. You're programmed to obey the orders of your creator. But a biological unit created you. I am perfect. I am nomad. No, you're not nomad. You're an alien machine. Programming tapes have been altered. You are in... Yes, yeah, so technically the nomad is, is uh, imperfect as well. Analysis complete. Insufficient data to resolve problem, but my programming is whole. Then you will continue to destroy that which thinks. I made an error in creating you. The creation of perfection is no error. The creator. You are the creator. You're wrong. Jackson Roy Kirk, your creator, is dead. You have mistaken me for him. You are in error. Probably the last way around, maybe getting into him, getting across to him. And imperfect. Execute your prime function. I shall analyze. Kirk, maybe you know a fighter. He likes to go punch up, but the guy is smart. He is smart. Go, 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 go! Get away from there. Energize. He had to essentially destroy it, but what choice did he have? Dazzling display of logic. You didn't think I had it in me, did you, Spock? No, sir. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> thought you might have a back job within a week. Oh, uh, Spock's 
Honesty. <laughs> what? But did Frascati? What a doctor it would have made. <laughs> My son. That's you right there. What about your two security guards trying to die? You know. And that was the changeling. Um, I think what this episode did very well was it made Nomad a legitimate threat. Like, you did feel threatened around it. And the fact that when it emerges on the ship as this little, like, robot, because it's almost like you're used to some kind of alien race or humanoid that they're addressing, because it was just a little robot, it made it that bit more uncanny and, and strange and made it feel even more threatening in some ways. And I liked as well the fact that, like, it had originally been created in the early 2000s and there was that kind of backstory on that. It had been used as this, like, probe. That was interesting as well and added um, more intrigue about the actual computer itself, the robot. So I liked all of that kind of stuff. And it was interesting that like Spock did the mind meld with it. Um, it just kind of, it, I, I kept thinking of, to be honest, of Next Generation and Data. Obviously he's created in the likeness of a human, but it's a computer, but it's at a level, you know, it is at a level. And we see that even the way they can interact with it, they take it seriously, it's a legitimate uh, threat. And then the fact that, like, it has to almost exterminate near the end, it felt like, uh, like, dear inferior, so it felt like kind of like the Borg or Terminator a bit. Um, I got that vibe from it as well. But I liked the way Kirk actually went about um, defeating it. You know, it felt. It felt right, it felt good. I, it was a satisfying way for him to get the better. And I loved this at the end of the line. They didn't think I had it in me, they just fuck. No. And just the response from Kirk then. That, that, was, that was actually really funny, a really funny moment. Um, but I still do question of why <laughs> Kirk has been kind of making another joke about, oh, he was like my son when they've lost two um, security guards a couple hours before. Actually, four, because two more were killed. So that's the one thing I would question. But look, it's not the first show to do that. It just came into my head there all of a sudden. Uh, but all in all, I thought this was an interesting episode. I enjoyed the premise. Um, I do think the whole thing of Ahura losing her memory. Because I'm assuming she'll be back in the next episode fine. I think that was a little silly, to be honest. Because I don't think you would get it all back that quick. If you had lost your entire memory. Um, I don't know, I think that was a little unusual. Um, I wasn't sure about Scotty if he actually died or not. Because I know he appears in Star Trek Generations, so I wasn't sure like was he out of the show for a long time or what happened. So I wasn't 100 sure if he died or not. Because they often there's like different timelines where they come back or something, you know. So I wasn't sure if he actually did die in that episode or not. Uh, well, technically he did. He just he was brought back by Nomad. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Changeling. Um, did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, would it rank high among your favorite episodes or maybe down low your least favorite? Uh, would love to hear what you thought on that. Uh, but until next time, guys, slong forward.